Have you ever wondered if there's an easy way to consolidate all the original TI cartridges and homebrew applications directly to a single cartridge? Well there is. It's called the Final Grom 99. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at it, how to set it up. Let's go ahead and get started. Once you get your final Grom, you'll want a 2 gig micro SD card. You can go larger if you want. And format is FAT32. Then go to this link, which I'll put in the description below, and download the Final Grom 99 zip file. And save it, and then you want to extract it and copy it to the root of the SD card. There you'll have a lot of folders here, games, development, all kinds of stuff. Inside each folder are a series of bin files. These are the actual EPROMs, or ROMs, that will get loaded by the Final Grom. This image list.txt file gives you a listing of all the different ROMs and stuff that are on here, as well as a little bit more information. Once it's all set up, you just simply slide it into the SD slot on the final ground. Got a little bit of a spring loaded action there, so you just pop it in. There you go. Let's take a closer look at the final ground. If you look over on the left, you'll see an LED couple of micro switches and on the back there's not a whole lot there. Another option you may want to consider is a 3D printing case for your Final Grom 99. This is one I printed based on a model I found on Thingiverse.com. Of course you can buy these as well. You can look on eBay, possibly ArcadeChopper.com. Pretty nice little case. You just snap it together, throw the screw in there, tighten it down, and you're pretty much ready to go. Slide in your SD card. Now we're ready to give it a try. Then plug it in. Flip the power switch. One other thing I want to mention, if you need to change cartridges, hit the left button, wait for the red LED to go off, then hit the right button, and then when the TI resets, you'll return to your list. If you don't do that, you'll see the same cartridge that you had in previously. Alright, so we'll press 2 and go into the Final Ground 99. My folder structure is a little different than what yours will be, but I'm going to go ahead and press A to go to Final Ground. And then you'll see the same structure that I showed you earlier, with dev and games. Let's take a look. Okay, to start off with, we're going to look at TI Extended Basic. We're going to go ahead and go into the final grom. Go ahead and press A here. And go into dev, which is B. And I'm going to press the period key, which will go forward in the menu system. You can also press the comma to go back. Go ahead and load TI Extended Basic. There we have it. So you don't need the cartridge. Let's go ahead and type in a program. Type in input. What is your name? Question mark. Quote. colon a dollar sign. Now we're going to type in just a simple line to say print hello what is whatever name they type in. That uh, I need to call clear. I like to clear the screen. Clear the screen. And now we'll go ahead and run. Type in Wagner's Tech Talk. Hello, Wagner's Tech Talk. Recently, I found out that uh, there is a bin file for Stuart's browser. Someone had uploaded that on Atari Age. So we're going ahead and try that out here. It'd be a cool little experiment. Yes, you can actually browse the internet on your TI. 
I go ahead and type in my site, which is wagnerstechtalk.com forward slash ti99 and z.htm, and that should take us to the site. I've got a full review on this browser. If you'd like to see that, I'll put a link in the top bar here so you can take a look at that. It's pretty cool. I highly recommend you check it out. Now we'll load up a interesting little demo, Axel F, on the TI. some fun. We're going to move on to some games. And who doesn't know this game, Alpiner? It was a classic game from 1982. I used to play this quite a bit. And we'll type in the number of players and me. Here we go. Press in. Incredible graphics, huh? <laughs> Look out! Hard to believe I spent hours playing this game years ago. But it's actually pretty cool. I like it. Onward and upward. Alright, now we're going to move on to an Atari game. Centipede. For the TI. It's really cool being able to play these games again. I have just about all of these on cartridge format, but it's so much more convenient to be able to load them up on the final ground anytime you want and check them out. Just a little bit longer on this, and then we'll move on to another game. move on to another game, Donkey Kong. Sure you remember that game. Now for the TI implementation of it, running on the final graph. And here goes Mario. These graphics were really good back in the day. Gameplay is really good too. Almost there. And then you move on to the second level. And we'll call it a done for this and move on to another game. Now we're going to check out Moon Patrol, another great Atari game. Actually, Atari Soft.
Now we're going to move on to a classic Parsec. I'm sure you'll remember this game if you had a TI back in the day. Probably one of the Earth most fire popular to games. Begin. Alert. Alien craft advancing. Alert. Ships attacking. Alert! Ships attacking! Whoop. Alert! Ships attacking! Nothing like being shot by an acorn. <laughs> on to another game. Star Trek from 1983. This was a great game. I remember getting this for Christmas one year. Welcome I aboard, love this game. Captain. Entering Sector 1.1. I played it for hours. The objective is basically go to these fuel stations and then clear the screen. And the fuel Entering stations give you more proton shields and warp speed. So you want to collect those first. And then destroy all the ships. Entering sector 1.3. Very cool game. Lots of fun. Entering sector 1.4. Okay, so now let's move on to another game. Buck Rogers. This is another one I spent a lot of Avoid time playing. Avoid electron pulse, Buck. And these graphics were very impressive back in the day. Oops. Watch the hoppers. Watch out for the hoppers. <laughs> Basically, toilet bowls with legs. Alien guards approaching. Alright, now let's move on to something a little more interesting. Homebrew games, too. Yes, there are a lot of them. A lot of games that you may have missed over the years. Here's one. Pitfall. Yes, there was an implementation for the TI of Pitfall. I think it was in 2009, roughly, when it was released. And it's an excellent game. And if you have a Final Grom, of course you can play it on the Final Grom. There was actually a, a cartridge that was also released of Pitfall. I happen to have one. They're rather hard to find now. I don't think you'll be able to find one unless you look on eBay. But this is a great implementation of Pitfall. Alright, so we got past that. Oops. All 
Alright, now let's move on to another game. And you may have thought Flappy Bird only existed on your cell phone. Of course not, there's a TI implementation as well. This one does require a 32K memory expansion in order to play. But if you have 32K added to your TI, yeah, this is a fun little game. Music's a little annoying, but it's pretty cool. Now we're going to try out a game by Rasmus Muscart, Flying Shark. This was released in 2018. It's also available on cartridge form at arcadeshopper.com. Or, of course, you can play it on your final Grom 99 as well. It's an excellent game. It's got great graphics and fantastic gameplay. You'll really enjoy this one. Christmas was also the one of the developers on this next piece that I'm going to show you. The Don't Mess With Texas demo. Now we're going to go ahead and start up this demo, and the remainder of this video is going to be this demo playing. At the very end are the credits of all the developers, so be sure and check that out. Thank you. 